Okay, lesson 17, Kriya. Hatha Yoga Pradipika, Chapter 2, Sutra 33. Then Nauli is described. With the shoulders bent down, one should rotate to the right and left the stomach with the speed of a fast circling eddy. The Siddhas call this Nauli. The Siddhas call this Nauli. Every Kriya exercise that you learned, there is some reference to a guru, a teacher, and here a Siddha. Siddha is a person who has developed the higher characteristics a human being can manifest as a result of energy rising up to the crown chakra. Every Kriya exercise has hidden warnings that you need somebody to guide you, somebody who understands how it works. So I've repeated this many times. It's very important that you start seeing this also. There are these hints in every sutra that most people do not grasp. Now, Lee, is if you do it literally, follow the text literally, is quite spectacular and harmless. If you look at Nauli on YouTube, you can find some yogi, emaciated yogi, who, after exhaling, creates a hollow belly, and then by pushing the hands on the thighs, you do it standing, isolates those two muscles, and then <laughs> move left and right. Yes, it's like belly dancing but with the rest of the body standing still. If you have too much fat around the waist, now we literally follow the text, actually helps you to reduce your waistline. <laughs> Who doesn't want that? So you can experiment with this if you like. I've done it. And I'm not doing it anymore, <laughs> you can see. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Um, no, but interesting if you actually can manage to come to the point that you can control those muscles, because you can. When I tried it at first, it was impossible. If you keep trying, there comes a point that you start to get a feeling of it, you start to get the hang of it. Anyway, if you understand how the previous Kriyas are done, you know that there must be something behind this, and indeed there is. We're now starting to zoom in on Manipura Chakra, which is the center that is responsible for fueling everything else in the body, all other chakras, but all processes are fueled by the energy that is generated in the nuclear power plant in our body, which is Manipura Chakra. Not only that, Manipura Chakra is responsible for everything, including failure and success. So control of Manipura Chakra, which starts with consciousness of Manipura Chakra, has huge implications in how your life unfolds into the future. The Manipura, the heart chakra is very important because of the characteristics. Manipura Chakra is very important because of its functioning and how it determines the quality, basically, of our functioning and automatically the quality of our life. So first, you learn about energy with 
Dauti and Vashti. First you have Dauti where you cobble up a piece of cloth but actually you are letting Shiva energy descend from Ashna Chakra down to Manipura Chakra. Then you pull out the piece of cloth but actually you are letting Shakti energy rise up to the top. Then you have Vashti when you suck up water through the anus, shake and expel Shiva. Okay. Then we had Neti. Neti is the ancient way of bringing attention to illiterate people, uneducated people to the center where control is possible, Ashna Chakra, followed by Trataka, where you not only are aware of Ashna Chakra, but you actually start concentrating energy there by pure concentration until, without blinking, until tears are shed. So here you really start with mind control. And mind control leads to an accumulation in Ashna Chakra that automatically goes to the Crown Chakra that in drawings of Jesus Christ, like you see in the handout, but in every church, and drawings of the Buddha, you always see a light around their head, a halo. That is a, that is a symbolical representation of this energy gathering in and around Ashna Chakra. It's about 60 centimeters in diameter. So it's outside of the physical limitation. Then we have Nauli. Because of the importance of Manipura Chakra, we simply start focusing on, 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 on the chakra, trying to feel the energy that is circling there. Manipura Chakra. The power plant, the nuclear power plant in our being, like the sun in the solar system, providing warmth, energy, but this is an interesting experiment that every time proves that doubting Thomases can become believing Thomases simply by experiment. Chakras circulate, circle. Spin, chakras spin in a certain direction. When we put the, the, the chakras on the board with the two winding streams of energy, it's like, a, it's like coke wheels. So if one spins to the right because they are connected, the other will spin to the left. So what we're gonna do today <coughs> with our eyes closed, after we have done Dauti, Vashti, Neti and Traktaka, we divert our attention to Manipura Chakra and we try to feel the direction that it is spinning. In the beginning you won't feel anything. You're not used to view subtle phenomena. But you have started becoming familiar with energy. Didn't I tell you when we discussed Muladhara Chakra that you must start paying attention when you need to go to the toilet? Did I? I did, huh? 
I'm, I'm in doubt if I actually did. But did you notice how much energy there is involved when you are sitting at your desk or on the sofa doing something and suddenly there is a need to go to the toilet? You never paid attention. You never thought, oh, there is energy whirling in my muladhara chakra. That is what makes me restless and makes me get up and go to the restroom. In the same way, you will start to notice that everything in the body functions like that. So Manipura chakra can be felt also as a whirl of energy. And because it's subtle, and not easy yet to perceive, with your finger, you just imagine following Manipura Chakra. And you spin clockwise, and you spin counterclockwise. Now what happens is that on a very subtle level, one way causes resistance, while the other way feels auspicious, feels good. But the difference is so small that you will be uncertain. But because your eyes are closed, and your perception is deeper than in normal daily life activities, you will subconsciously have a hunch so after now, Lee, after the meditation, I will ask you, which side do you think it's spinning? Clockwise? Counterclockwise? Experiment throughout the years, every class we do this, shows that the majority of the class, usually 80, 90%, actually feels the right direction. Only in very small, percentage, small number of students is not sure and gambles that it probably is spinning in the other direction. But always, the, like with the experiment with pray, pregnant through prayer, the difference between right, correct and incorrect is so big that it is obvious. And without fail, every class shows that the majority subconsciously feels the right direction it is spinning, which shows that there must be something there. And that's the only thing that is important. That you have the experience that, although you're not sure, it is very fake and you may not even believe that it is there, but the fact that this experiment shows that most people actually feel the correct thing without being sure shows that it is there and that you are able, able, capable of perceiving subtle energy. It's just an experiment. That's what we do. After building up the Kriyas, the fifth Kriya is Nauli. Okay? Strange, huh? What kind of yoga is this? <laughs> Real yoga. <laughs>